Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your eighth Flexbox tutorial and in this video we're going to go through our second example and create a nested flex menu. <laughs> okay then gang, so I've gone ahead and opened up this example 2 folder and I'm in the nested menu HTML file which you can see right here. I've also linked up this style sheet right here which we're going to work through in a minute. So this is pretty much where we left off in the last tutorial where we created this flex menu at the top. The only thing I've done is added this UL at the bottom with a class of social and two LI tags within that, each with an anchor tag, one with a class of Facebook, one with Twitter. And these are going to be another kind of menu that we're going to pop to the far right over here in the top bar. And uh, they're going to be little social icons. So you might be thinking, well, why have I created a completely separate UL for this? Why not just dump these in here? And then they're still in the top and they're floating to the right kind of and um, that kind of achieves the results. And yeah, we could do that, but the thing is, these flex items right here, they all have that grow property, and they're all growing to the available space to them. So these are much too kind of wide for what I want. I want these to be controlled separately from these and be small little icons and float to the right. So the way we're gonna do this is by creating that separate menu for them right there, and we're gonna control them differently. So. If you remember, in the last tutorial, we said in the style.css that these UL tags, every UL tag within the nav is going to be a flex container. Therefore, all the LI tags within them then become flex elements. So the same is true for this one. We've got a UL tag, and because it's within that nav, it is a flex container. And these, therefore, become flex items, and they're exhibiting that behavior right there. So we've got two flex containers, one on the top, one on the bottom and then flex items within them. So what I want to do now is make these go into the top row. And the way I can do that is by making this nav a flex container. Because if I do that, then these two UL tags are gonna become flex items. And remember the default behavior of flex items is to stack up left to right. So this flex item is gonna be on the left and this flex item is gonna be on the right. Makes sense, okay? So let's save this now and jump into the styles and do something like that. Let's just say nav, give this a display type of flex, like so. Okay, and now we get those left to right like that. Pretty cool, yeah? Now I also want these to appear on the far right. So the next thing I need to do is say justify content and what I'll do is say space between, and that's gonna pop some space between these things right here and these things over here. Okay, looking good. So next what I wanna do is style up these things so that they have icons instead of text. So the way I can do that is by coming up here, I've got a comment for social menu base styles, which I'm gonna pop here, and I'm gonna say a.tw, which is the Twitter one, and then I'm gonna give this a background image and I'm going to set that to a URL, which is image forward slash tw.png. And that's found here in the images folder. Now, we don't want that to repeat all over the show. So I'm going to say no repeat. And I'm also going to center the image like that. Now, I'm going to set this background size to be about 80%. Just make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to copy this and do the same for the Facebook one. So FB instead of Twitter, or TW rather, like that. Okay, now I need to get rid of that text. So let's grab both of these L, uh, A tags by saying social, oops, social, and then A. And remember that social class is the class attached to this UL. So I'm grabbing both of those A tags right now. And I'm gonna say text indent, it's going to be minus 10,000 pixels, so they shoot right off the screen. Now, because we no longer have that space, the text is totally gone, uh, these have shrunken. So we need to kind of rectify that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is set a kind of grow property to this UL. Remember, that's a flex item, this UL. So we can set a grow property to let it expand into all the space available to it. So what I'll do is come down here and I'm going to say nav.ul.social 
and then I'm going to give this a flex property. The flex is going to be one, and then we'll give it a shrink property of one and zero for basis. Now it's taking up too much room. Now they're too big. Before they were too small, now they're too big. So I say we give this UL a max width. So I'm going to do that up here separately because this is just the flex styles down here. And I'm going to say social. And what I'll do is give this a max width of 80 pixels like so. And now that is looking pretty good, right? So let's just take a look at this. We've got the behavior we want pretty much on the navbar there. But when we go smaller, let's take a look. This isn't quite what we want at the minute for smaller screens. So what I want to do now is just add in a few more styles to make this look better on smaller screens. And the first thing I need to do is kind of centralize these two over here. So to do that, I'm going to go to this social class, which is the UL containing these. And I'm going to say margin is zero and auto. And that's going to centralize those. It's going to give it an auto margin to the left and right. Okay, the next thing I want to do is sit these left to right rather than on top of each other. So to do that, I have to make them flex items. Now, currently, the UL is only a flex container when we get to bigger screens like this. We don't want that. We want it to be a flex container for smaller screens as well. So we can set that property right up here. The UL.social will say display flex like so. Okay, but now these are too small, so we need these to expand into all the available space. So those LI items right there, they are now flex items, and we can do that. So we'll just grab this, and we'll bring it underneath, and we'll put an LI on the end of it to grab those LI tags, and we'll say flex is 1, 1, and 0. All right, so now they look a bit better for mobile. Pretty good. When we make this larger, you'll notice one thing has happened. This thing right here is no longer on the far right and it's kind of moved in. And that's because of this margin of zero and auto right there. We've got an auto margin left and right. So all we need to do is take that away for larger screens, which we'll do down here, dot social. And we'll take away the margin. We'll say margin is zero. And now it's going to flow, or not flow, but sit on the far right. So there we have it, guys. That is how we nest uh, containers within containers and make a multi-nested navigation bar. Looks pretty cool, right? So it looks good on smaller screens and on larger screens. Any questions, feel free to pop those down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.